anybody from any skill level can identify what the question is asking you to find. So always start there and at the top left of the screen, right over here, you're gonna see what do you want, what do you have, and what's the connection. That's really gonna be the three-step process you should tackle any word problem with. First thing always, what is it that we want? So we start right over here to see that. And again, it always starts off with who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, there it is. How many miles would you need to run? And we need the number of miles right here that's associated with burning 35% of your daily calorie intake. So is it fair to you? Is it understandable to you? If I go ahead and write what I want like this, I write it out like this blank miles equals 35%. Is that fair to you? I'm looking for the number of miles that represents 35%. Is that fair to you? Cool. And again, it doesn't matter what your skill level is. This first question, what do you want? That's not asking you to, you know, basically write a dissertation or a PhD thesis on how to get this problem. It's really just telling you, hey, can you identify what the problem is? What are we looking for? And that's English, not math yet. Step two is where, where we're going to be taking that English and start turning it into math. So right over here, when we look at the information we have, so if running 42 miles burns off 30% of your daily calorie intake, well, how many miles is associated with 35? 35%. So in blue, I'll highlight this right here, saying it says, hey, running 42 miles burns off 30% of your daily calorie intake. So that's exactly what I'll write below here. 42 miles. That corresponds with 30%. The hardest part about practicing for the ASVAB, in my opinion, is knowing when you're ready. Knowing that you are good to go and move on from this topic, and that's why our full program has a progress dashboard, letting you know exactly what you're good at and what you need to work on. And the great thing is, you can join our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. That's our trial that's available for you. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or click the link in the description of this video to get started and have yourself a good time. Go ahead and do a mass web party, people. I'll see you in there. Do you agree or disagree with all of the information that I have written down here? I took extensive notes, didn't I? Huge paragraph. Does that make sense to you? Do you agree with what I've written? Good. Perfect. So with that, Yes or no, everybody, are we comparing the same things in the same way? Blank miles, 35%, 42 miles, 30%. Are we comparing the same things in the same way? Perfect. So my last follow-up question, can we write a proportion from this? Can we write a proportion? Absolutely. Perfect. Let's get it done here. So I'll use M4 miles. And notice what we have here. We'll have M miles that corresponds to 35% equals 42 miles. Let me use a, the color blue here. 42 miles, and that's the same as 30%. All right. Yeah, we can use X, we can use M, we can really use whatever we want. It's just letter you can pick whatever you want but zooming in here to what we have um my party people how do we solve proportions again again we just answered this question not too long ago what's the main way cross multiply and then what yeah cross multiply and then divide now who here woke up today thinking man i can't wait to be told to multiply 35 times 42. I really wish I see that today. Is anybody really wanting to do that? <laughs> a simple note would suffice, right? So yeah, we can absolutely simplify first. So I love the experience taking over here. We don't need to cross multiply 42 times 35 and then eventually divide by the 30. What you can do, everybody, you're looking at a fraction here. You're looking at a fraction. If you want, and you should do this, you should always look to simplify before you perform tasks. 
Simplify whatever you have in front of you because it reduces the numbers. And when you do calculate, you are dealing with easier numbers. So again, what we would have had to do was 35 multiplied by 42. But I'm gonna invite you to really notice that 42 and 30 are both divisible by the same number. What's that, what number, what's the biggest number that you can think of that can divide into both 42 and 30? Two is definitely a number, but it's rather small. What number can we think of that goes into both 30 and 42? It's not gonna be seven, it's gonna be six, because six multiplied by seven is 42, and then six multiplied by five is 30. So we can feel free here to divide a six from both the numerator and denominator. Again, that's all simplifying a fraction is. We are factoring out, we're dividing the same thing that can go into the top and the bottom. So what that's gonna do for us, we still have the M over 35 on the left side, but on the right side now, we have something beautiful. 42 divided by six, that's gonna be seven. 30 divided by six, that's gonna be five. Booyah, we're good. Because now, hey, we can actually see this as a much easier question. 35 times seven, ain't that terrible. And then dividing by five really won't be that bad. But we can actually take it a step further. My party people, quick question. Is it true that when you're working with equations, as long as you're doing the same thing to both sides, you're good? Isn't that true? Yeah, as long as you're doing the same thing to both sides, you're fine. So notice how, again, we would have had to do 42 times 35, but now here's another realization we can make. 35 in the denominator here, and the five in the denominator over here, we can simplify that even further if we wanted to. Or we can compare the same things in the same way. Again, we can compare the same things in the same way. My party people, riddle me this. How do you go from five to 35? What do you multiply five by to get 35? Seven. Five times seven, that's 35. Okay, great. Again, from the right side here to the left side, five times seven, that's 35. So the same will be true up top. Again, compare the same things in the same way. Everyone, seven times seven is what? 49. Look at that beauty. We effectively avoided a very large and risky calculation. It's not terribly risky, but it just takes time. You know, why take the 10, 20, 25 seconds to perform that calculation, then the division, when you can notice that you can simplify a fraction and then just compare and you get your answer. Is this helping anybody out in terms of their confidence with calculating proportions? Cool. Wait, you can do that? But wait, there's more. Um, it's going to be a fun class. Hopefully, hopefully it's already fun to you, but we're going to continue showing the different ways that we can solve proportions. Again, the main way, the main way you've been taught is cross multiplication and division but there are plenty of ways, like comparing the same places in the same way. Um, you can also try to simplify before you cross multiply, plenty of things that you can do. Before you go, if you feel like these videos are worth my time and worth me making for you, then go ahead and show your love. Like the video, comment on it, subscribe for more. That way we know which videos you do like and which ones you could use a little less of. That way we make better decisions, better videos for you, and everybody wins. Do that, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's ace the ASVAB.